Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. We know that when we leave a glass of hot water and a glass of cold water for some time out in the open, both of them try to reach a thermal equilibrium with the atmosphere. Yes, the hot water starts cooling down while the cold water starts getting warmer to reach the room temperature. This change in temperature stops when they reach the same temperature as the atmosphere. That's something we all know, right? So why are we talking about this? Well, it's because this is related to our topic of today, that is, the zeroth law of thermodynamics. If you guys haven't checked out our video on thermodynamic equilibrium, the link is in the description below. Before we get into our topic, let's revisit the concept of temperature. This is because the zeroth law of thermodynamics focuses on thermal equilibrium and establishes a concept of temperature. The temperature, as we know, is a thermal state of a body which differentiates a hot body from a cold body. This temperature is proportional to the stored molecular energy inside the body or the average molecular kinetic energy in a system. It must be noted that a gas molecule doesn't have a temperature, it has energy. The gas as a system has a temperature. Moving back to the zeroth law, it was formulated by R. H. Fowler in 1931. Back then, the first and second laws already existed and this new law superseded the other two. This is because the new law was the most basic out of all the three laws. Hence, this new law was designated as the zeroth law of thermodynamics. According to the zeroth law, if the temperature of two systems is equal to the temperature of a third system, then they are equal in temperature to each other. This can be understood using the example of two glasses of water that we talked about earlier. Glass A contains hot water, while glass B contains cold water. Let's leave these two glasses on the table for some time. During this time, the temperature of the hot water falls until it reaches the room temperature. Hence, a thermal equilibrium is formed between the glass and the room. During the same time, the temperature of the cold water rises until it equals the room temperature, thus forming another thermal equilibrium. Till now, we know that the temperature of water in glass A is equal to the room temperature. We also know that the water in glass B is equal to the room temperature too. Hence, the temperature of water in both glasses are equal as well. This law can also be stated in terms of thermal equilibrium. When a system A is in thermal equilibrium with a system B and a system C, then the systems B and C are in thermal equilibrium with each other. The zeroth law is extremely important for thermodynamics as it throws light on the concepts of temperature and thermal equilibrium. Thanks to this law, comparing the temperature of two bodies has become simple. The easiest example of this is when using a thermometer. When a thermometer is used to check the temperature of a patient, the mercury inside the mercury tube starts expanding due to increasing temperature. Due to this, the height of mercury inside the tube increases. This height is then measured to know the body temperature of the patient. Well, that's all for today's video. We discussed the zeroth law of thermodynamics with the help of an example and talked about its importance and application. We will cover more topics on thermodynamics in our upcoming videos, so stay tuned. This is Skill Link and we'll see you on the next one. Till then, bye!